Good morning, Captains. I'm Matthew Hall. <laughs> and I'm Tiffany Slayball. <laughs> Today is Tuesday, May 3rd, and we're coming to you live from Studio 503 with another episode of WK Today. <laughs> Detroit Public Schools are closed for a second consecutive day due to teachers calling in sick. The teachers are calling in due to fears that they might may not get paid as the district is in a huge financial crush. Michigan Department of Health was issued a warning about the number of salmonella cases. There have been 20 cases in just the past two months alone through contact of handling with live baby chickens and ducklings. Six people have been hospital hospitalized. If you handle chickens or ducks, be sure to wash your hands after. Johnson & Johnson recently had to pay a woman $55 million in damages after it was proven that their baby powder product caused ovarian cancer after years of use of this product. This is the second largest loss for the company in February. Johnson & Johnson paid $72 million to the family of the victim who died from cancer in 2011. Johnson & Johnson says they will be appealing the case. Now let's turn it over to sports. It's another busy day for our captains. First up, the golf team will tee off against Mott at 2.30. Girls tennis is at South Lion East at 4. Boys and girls track and field is at Wald Lake Central at 3.45. Freshman baseball is at Brighton at 4, while JV is at Mott at the same time. For the girls, freshman softball is at Milford at 4, and girls soccer is at home versus Wald Lake Central. JV at 5.30 and varsity at 7. Good luck to everyone. Congratulations to Jacob Mortimer, who recently signed with Cleary University to play lacrosse. Jacob has been an integral member of both the football and lacrosse teams. He was a two-year varsity football player and a four-year varsity lacrosse player, and the leading scorer for the past three years. Good luck, Jacob. Finally, don't forget there is a parent meeting for anyone playing football for Kettering the next year. The meeting will take place next Tuesday, May 10th at 7 in the Kettering Cafeteria. That's all for sports. Now back to you guys at the news desk. Thanks, James. Staff scholarship applications are still available in room 105. Any Kettering 12th grader attending a post-secondary school next year should consider completing an application. Students should see Mr. Burlingame for details. Applications are due completed in Mr. Burlingame in room 105 by 2 p.m. May 6. If you are a senior, it's time to buy senior slideshow videos. They are $10 and you can purchase them by seeing Mrs. Gross Nicole in room 501 or getting an order form by the senior bench. The next Kettering Blood Drive will take place this Friday. If you are 17 years or older and would like to donate, please sign up during your lunch. Remember to drink a lot of water and have a photo ID when you donate. Seniors, please note that the last day for you to check out library books is Friday, May 13th, and your last day to return them is May 24th. Senior fines for library books will be forgiven if you return them to the library or the drop box in the academic center by May 24th. In addition, seniors, if you ordered graduation announcements with your cap and gown, they will be delivered on Tuesday, May 10th during all lunches. Graduate services will be mailing a postcard to your homes with the balance due if you owe anything. Caps and gowns will be available for you to pick up after rehearsal on June 3rd. If you have not ordered a cap and gown yet, please see Ms. Lynn's ASAP. Even if you are still wearing someone else's gown, you will still need a cap, tassel, and medallion. Please see Ms. Lynn's with any graduation questions or concerns. Well, that's all we have for you today, today, Captains. Once again, I'm Tiffany Slayball. And I'm Matthew Hall. Have a great rest of your day, Captains.